Smith di Cennello Kalima from Nevo Kalima Learning Center. Well, uh, in the previous lesson we've been talking about sentence and the structure of a sentence. Well, if you have watched the video, you know that uh, there are three main parts of a simple sentence. The subject, the verb, and the object. And if you did not watch the video, please click in the, the link in the description, you, you, you will watch it. Very good. Today we are going to talk about personal pronouns. Okay? First, we have to know that personal pronouns are those pronouns that will come to replace uh, subjects or objects. Okay? Basically, they come to replace most of the times nouns. About nouns, we will talk it later on. For the moment, let's know our personal uh, 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 pronouns. Well, we have two types of personal pronouns. The ones that replace the subject or perform the function of the subject and if you have watched the previous video, the subject will perform the action in the sentence. And we have the other ones that will perform the actions of the object which come to complete the verb. Well, uh, we have two groups of subject pronouns. We have the singular and we have the plural. As you know, singular has to do with only one and the plural has to do with at least two or more. Very good. We have the first person, we have the second person, we have the third person of singular. We also have the first person, the second person, and the third person of plural. Very good. Let's know. We have I, 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 I am a teacher. Then you, you, he, she, or it. Then we have we, we have you, then we have they. Okay? Basically, I has to do with me. I. Okay? You is someone else. Someone close to you. You. Okay? We have he. He. He is someone. Actually, a man or a boy. He. Okay? We have she. She. She has to do with a boy. I mean, sorry. Has to do with a girl or a woman. She. It. It happens or it is used when you are talking about objects and animals. Then you have we. We as a group. We as a classroom. We as teachers. Okay? We have you. This you and this you, they are different because this you has to do with plural. You people. Okay? Then we have they. They. A group of people that are a little bit far. They. Okay? Very good. Let's move to object pronouns. In object pronouns, okay, they will perform the function of objects, which will come after the verb. We have the first, the second, and the third singular. We have the first, the second, and the third plural. Very good. So we have, in the first, we have me, then we have you, then we have him, then you have her, then you have it, then in plural we have us. Us. We have you. Then we have them. Okay? So here's the difference between uh, subject personal pronouns and object personal pronouns. One will stay in the place of the subject. As you know, subject performs the action in the sentence. Then we have another personal pronouns, which is object personal pronouns, which will perform the function of the object which comes after the verb okay so now let's go to some examples so uh, now we have uh, some examples okay we have example number one I love her I love her look we have two uh, pronouns here two personal pronouns we have I, okay, and we have a, okay, this is subject pronoun, 
Because in this sentence, I love her, we know that this I will perform the action. Okay? I love her. So, we have her. I love. We know that uh, the object will complete the verb. Now, I love her. This is a pronoun, but is object pronoun because it will be placed in the object place in the sentence. Good. Now we have uh, number two. They like us. They like us. Okay? Who likes us? They. They is subject pronoun because it is performing the action which is to like us. So the us here is completing like. They like what? They like us. So this us is object pronoun. The last example is uh, she hates Wow, hates. She hates them. We have she, subject pronoun, because it's performing the action of hating. She hates them. Then is object pronoun because it completes the eight. She hates. She hates who? She hates what? She hates them. Very good. Now let's move to uh, 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 places in which the subject pronoun will replace uh, proper nouns. Okay? Very good. So, uh, very good. <clears throat> we have three examples here. Cases in which proper nouns can be uh, replaced by uh, uh, personal pronouns. The first example is Gabriel and Mike enjoy school. So, we know that uh, pronouns, uh, personal pronouns, maybe the subject pronouns, they will perform the action in the sentence. And we can replace them with proper nouns. Gabriel and Mike. If we say Gabriel and Mike, so we are talking about they, okay? Gabriel and Mike, or simply they enjoy school. If we say they enjoy school, because when we say Gabriel and Mike, we are specifying, okay? But if you want to generalize, okay, generalize, we can use they. They enjoy the school. This thing of uh, replacing the proper nouns uh, with uh, the, the, the uh, pronouns happens most of the time when you don't want to repeat over again and again the same names. It will be actually boring. It's always say the baby might enjoy school, the baby might run. So if we know what we're talking about, the baby might, we can replace they. Enjoy school. They, uh, they start. They run. We can change over and over again instead of repeating uh, 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 Gabriel and Mike. We have another example. Number two. My sister and I. My sister and I start every day. My sister and I start every day. So we can also. Change or replace this. My sister and I, but my sister and I, but we. Okay? We start every day. By we, I mean my sister and I. We have the last example. Sarah speaks Portuguese. Sarah speaks Portuguese. Sarah speaks Portuguese. Then maybe we want to say something about Sarah here. Instead of saying Sarah, we can change Sarah with she. She also speaks. She also speaks. Speaks Japanese. Ja Japanese. Okay? Sarah speaks Portuguese. She, instead of writing Sarah, we write she. So this Sarah can be replaced by she. Or we can also write. Let's say we have 
George. George. George speaks Portuguese. Oh, he. Okay. He speaks Portuguese. So pronouns are very important. Okay. They can generalize things. They can now, uh, you know, instead of uh, of, uh, of repeating the same Gabriel and Mike, they can make it more interesting by changing. Instead of saying Gabriel and Mike thousand times, you can just replace them by they. Okay. So uh, now what you have to do, you have to uh, solve uh, some exercise I left in the description of the video. Okay. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and click like.